This week, we will learn about plate tectonics. Our discussion will focus on the learning competency, describe and relate the distribution of active volcanoes, earthquake epicenter, and major mountain belts of the plate tectonic theory. Have you ever wondered why our country is endowed with so many geologic features such as mountains and volcanoes? If your answer is yes, let's take a look at how these land features are formed and how they are related as we go through our lessons. To better understand plate tectonics, let us first discuss Lesson 1, the Earth's Lithosphere. At the end of the lesson, you should be able to first describe the Earth's lithosphere, second differentiate continental crust from oceanic crust. The Earth's lithosphere is a solid and rigid outer layer of our planet. It includes the crust and the upper part of the mantle. The crust is made of a variety of solid rocks like sedimentary, metamorphic, and igneous. It is thickest in part where mountain is present and thinnest along the ocean floor. The lithosphere is the top layer of the Earth where the Earth's crust is located. Because the Earth consists of land and water, the crust is divided into two parts. We have the oceanic crust and the continental crust. Now, what is the difference between these two? Let's start with the oceanic crust. The oceanic crust is relatively thinner but denser than continental crust. It is around 7 to 10 kilometers thick, which average thickness is 8 kilometers. It is found under the ocean floor and is made of dense rocks which are commonly composed of basalt. Continental crust, however, is thicker but less dense compared to oceanic crust. The thickness of the continental crust is mostly 35 to 40 kilometers and is found under land masses made of less dense rocks called granite. This illustration shows the difference between continental and oceanic crust in terms of thickness, age, density, and varied composition. And that's the end of lesson 1. Now let's check your understanding with a simple exercise. For the direction, tell whether the statement below describes continental crust or oceanic crust. Number 1. Relatively thicker but less dense crust. What's your answer? There you have it. Number 2. Found in the ocean floor and is made of dense rocks. Answer? Very good. Number three. Found under land masses such as mountain ranges. What's your answer? That's correct. Congratulations in finishing lesson one. Now let's start with Lesson 2, Plate Tectonics. At the end of the lesson, you should be able to First, name major and minor plates in the Earth's crust. Second, describe the movement of plates. One thing you need to remember is that the Earth's entire lithosphere is broken into segments of land masses called plates, as you can see in the map. You can call them lithospheric plate, tectonic plates, or simply plates. There are seven major plates in the world and a number of smaller ones, but before we discuss that, Let's try to do this simple activity first. 
Now let's find it in the map in... Direction. Look at the map of the lithospheric plate. Can you name the seven major plates in the world? Answer. Can you see it? The seven major plates are the Pacific Plate, North American Plate, Eurasian Plate, African Plate, Antarctic Plate, Australian Plate, and the South American Plate. The rest are the smaller ones or the minor plates. These plates float on the asthenosphere beneath the Earth's crust causing the lithosphere to move constantly in slow motion. This movement of the lithosphere is called tectonics. Thus, the theory which suggests that Earth's crust is made up of plates that interact in various ways is called plate tectonics. The moving lithospheric plates produce earthquakes, volcanoes, and other geologic events and features. When plate tectonics occur, these plates move in various ways as you can see in the map. The arrows show the direction of movement of plates. Black arrow indicates that plates are moving towards each other, red plates are moving away from each other, and yellow plates are sliding past each other. Now, can you name plates that are moving towards each other? Yes, one example is the Philippine plate and the Eurasian plate. How about plates that are moving away from each other? Yes, one example is the Nazca plate and the Pacific plate. What about plates that are sliding past each other? Correct. One example is the North American Plate and the Cocos Plate. And that's it for this week. Watch out for next week's video. Congratulations! Don't forget to answer the worksheets given by the teacher.